Abstergo. Hello, Initiate. Recently, Abstergo Historical Research began several new projects in London. We both know that when Abstergo makes big moves, the Templars are up to something. We think they're hot on the trail of a new piece of Eden. I've got people in London looking for it. Hey, Bishop! Jacob and Evie Fry are twins. How awesome is that? Speak of the devil. Fire up your cameras, Bex. I've got a picture. ETA on the payload. Sending it now. A lot to sift through. I'm gonna get the initiates on it ASAP. You look weird with a weapon. Let's plant a little bug and see what we can see. Got something. Isabel Ardant has a meeting here in a few hours. Uh, doesn't say with who. Doesn't say with whom, Rebecca. I suppose it's down to Muggins. Here. Hey, it's Sean Hastings. Gotta love that guy. Our mission was to find data to locate a piece of Eden in London. We did. And now I am eager to try this new kit. I don't like it when those two go off book like this. Well, all we can do is take a deep breath and move forward. You'll be searching for the piece of Eden through the lives of Jacob and Evie Fry. Twin assassins who operated in Victorian London. Your first set of genetic memories are downloaded. Good luck. Brother George. That's their names. Jacob and Evie Fry. Fry. Thrice I have written to you begging your aid. Thrice you've responded with silence. And yet I write again. So desperate my need, so few my options. I need you. London needs you. You would say it is too great a surprise, time. London. It is not yet time to strike. Patience, you would counsel. But whilst you wait, the Templars consolidate their power. They have chosen a Grand Master so ruthless, so thorough. One might think Reginald Birch himself had returned. His name is Crawford Starrick, and he intends to rule the world. There is no aspect of society he does not control. No industry that escapes his grim touch. By day, it is corrupt merchants and venal politicians who hold court. Come night, a vicious street gang known as the Blighters strikes terror in the hearts of all. There is no business untainted by his poison. No person unexploited. Oh shit. Duplicity or force. I forgot about nighttime. Has designs on the highest office of them all. And so, as you look inward, and dare I say it, afraid, Crawford Starrick's ambition is fixed on the beyond, to kingdoms and continents as yet unconquered, though not for long, for he knows. As I have warned you, time and time again, whosoever controls London, controls the world. Welcome to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Taste place in London, England. I'm sure a very happy coincidence for you, perhaps, since you like large cities. Oh, nighttime? Uh, there are more dangerous enemies out at night. Uh, also, 1868. So we're about 70 years in the future, 75 years in the future. The iron ships from here. The Templar running things is Rupert Ferris and our target one. Target two is Sir David Brewster who's got his hands on a bauble that could ruin us in this wretched war. Think you both can handle it? What a question. All oh, right. My mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable Fry twins. See them nightly at Covent Garden. The male twin is the one you've seen as the... George Extremely George intimidating George large George man, George though he doesn't look like it right now. That this guy, this, this confident guy. Chat later, George. We have a train to catch. 
is the guy that just beats the shit out of everyone in that bar and just walks like he has no concern in the world. Poor man, more afraid than ever. The years have not been kind. Well, you didn't like the ocean because there are no cities or people, so. <laughs> Yep, I played Evie Fry when I played this game, so I played the sister. Have fun. The one in the back. Don't die. This time I'm playing the boy. Sorry, Evie. Love you. It was fun. I loved playing you. It's Jacob's turn. I want to kick everyone's ass, because, uh, you know, I've had my fair share of combat. Send me some laudanum for my head. Shut up. God damn. I'll give you my own dose of laudanum. Jesus. Alright. Is V still illusion? Yes, it is. Lovely. Shift is still run. Great. Shift. Let's see. Shift space still a run and jump. Let's test here. Oh, wait. Too far. Maybe you can't test it here. Well, could test if it's a uh, climb a wall here. Let's see if descend is the same. It is. Okay. Yep. Climbing is the same. Okay, just jump right over that middle part. Is that is that your skill? Do you just have insane jump distance? Like, what's what's your skill, J Jacob Fry? Hmm. Why are, why are you better or worse than Arno? Hmm. Oh no, you just well you're you never said you liked big cities. I kind of inferred that just from the fact that you. Uh, you didn't seem to like the small cities in Assassin's Creed 3, or the small settlements, or the uh, uh, the high seas and the small settlements in Assassin's Creed 4. So Assassin's Creed 3 and 4, you, you seem to like, you're like, I miss the city with the people. It's, like, you, did, you did say something along those lines, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe more than I uh, thought at first. Beans. That door opens, and I have my route to Ferris. How about not up there, genius? Uh, who are you, Arno? Let's not climb a random thing here. Come on. Always work on the fly. Yep. Jacob Fry is a very, uh, very, let's just try stuff and see what happens, you know? Uh, wait, I am free running. Weird. Come on, don't have Unity level bugs. I thought, I thought this game was better than that. remember this building all of, all of a sudden I remember this building very well why yep I told you see I didn't just make that up because you obviously agree with yourself the sanitary inspector this man I'd be using my fist in the first place and not just killing him. Yeah. 
Oh, different combat. Oh, definitely different combat. Not bad. I'll have to get used to it. I honestly forgot about the difference in combat. I thought it was more similar to Unity, but uh, it is not similar to Unity. At least unarmed combat. I don't know what that's about. Let's we'll figure that out over time. But I did play through this whole game. Also, I didn't play as him, so maybe it's just him. Yeah, talk to me, not the crowd. That's a very Arno move. Stop looking at me. I'm self conscious. No. Wait, I don't want to jump up. Is that what space does? How do I hide behind something? Oh, space does hop up. Huh. So, how do I. Let's see. Um. Okay, we have sensitive guards in this game too. Uh, they're also not always in groups of like two or four, which is nice. Hey, shut up! I'm more than you! Uh, this explains why combat is a lot tougher. Um, ooh, nice. Can get two in a row real quick. Uh, this explains... I, I do remember explaining that level 10 guards are, like, impossible to kill uh, early in the game. And that is very true. Like, you could, you could potentially, with, with incredible skill and timing... You could kill level 5 guards early, or 5 star guards early in Unity. Uh, I don't know why you'd want to waste your time trying, because it's, it's a lot tougher. But, you could. Uh, in this game... Uh, you don't want to try that. <laughs> uh, it's better to stay within your level range generally speaking. So, I do remember that about this game. <laughs> Despite everything else that I may have forgotten, I do remember it was a lot tougher to do things beyond your means. It really limited to you to your means. C? So it's not... That's what I was looking for, C. So they did change. Okay, uh, a, a new, uh, new change in controls to get used to. Uh, this man, I was hoping it would be the same. I was hoping nothing would change. Everything. Uh, I did notice I couldn't sneak though. No, damn it! <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't change. I was hoping it would just unlock. <laughs> it was locked. I was hoping it was locked or something. Damn it. <laughs> no, I have to get used to a new control. No. No, me and no. I don't want to get used to a new control. All right. That's fine, though. Uh, how many games have I done this with? 
Let's see. Even within Assassin's Creed 2, with Ezio, things changed. Things changed for Connor. Things changed for Edward Kenwit. Man, all right. That's fine. I'll get used to it. <sighs> Man, control is so good for crouching, though. Why? I mean, at least C is a good alternative. Uh, if I had to pick a second option, C would be it. So I, I guess I should shut up now. Hey, shut up. I'm the one who presses these buttons dozens, hundred, hundreds, thousands, wah, tens of thousands, who knows how many times. Every time I play one of these games, I just... I, I have to drill it in. It, it, it has to become muscle memory. It can't... I have to get past the thinking phase. That's the problem. The problem is that this puts me at the thinking phase. At the start of the thinking phase. That's the problem. <laughs> so, don't worry. I'm fine. <laughs> I will get used to it. But I know what I'm going to have to go through to get used to it. <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at right now. Also, I got a Discord message, so hang on. Oh. Raj. Yeah, I have to decide if I'm playing. Never split the party with him, because he's going to end... It, by the time we start, we're going to end after 11, which is late for me. But it is the weekend, so it's decision time for me. Damn. Uh, I feel okay right now. I'm just not sure how I'm going to feel in an hour from now. So, all right. Well, uh, now I start thinking. All right. Anyway... Still Yunraj watching as far as I can tell. So C. Okay, the rest is fine. Wait. <gasps> oh. Are you serious? Wait. Are you serious? Do you see what I'm seeing? Tell me you see what I'm seeing. I've. Yes. 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 They changed it back. I forgot. I forgot they changed it back. I'm so happy they changed it back. Yes. I'm so happy. Eagle Vision. It's on! It's not turning off! Yes! Oh my god, I'm so happy! Oh my god, I'm so happy! God, I hated that they changed that in Unity. I forgot they changed that back in Syndicate. God, oh. The PTSD. Oh my god. Yes, I'm so happy. So sorry, I had to take a minute. Oh my god. I still... I st it's still on. I would have to... I, I toggle it. I can, and there's no timer. This uh, I can't play too much of this game. This 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 game is dangerous for me. <laughs> I can't get too used to this. No, I can't play this too much. No, no, I can't. I can't play too much of this. No, I can't. Uh, it's. No, I, uh, I'll get too addicted. No, I need to... No, this is so much better. Looting is faster too. Mm. Yes, Eagle Vision and, and looting are, are better. Yes.
Insert inappropriate joke here. <laughs> About how happy I am for these changes. Oh, Raj left. Oh, good. Now we can talk shit about Raj. Fuck you. No, no I'm just kidding. <laughs> I noticed my viewer count went down by one, so I tabbed out to check. And yeah, I don't know why. Random. He was, he's complaining about not being able to watch, and now he's not watching. <laughs> like, you know, this, this is why I said some of the stuff I said earlier. You know? I don't know. <laughs> you missed some of it, though. Dude, I am so happy right now. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm just gonna run up and kill this guy. Bitch. Like Arno! Did Arno move to England and uh, have kids who had other kids? And is that me? I don't know. <laughs> I just noticed I went down to one of your. Don't worry about it. It's not, not a big deal. Uh, he might be trying to focus on a match or something. Or, or it might have crashed. I, or he might have misclicked. I'm not. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> I, I'm giving. I'm giving him a bit of a hard time, even though he's probably not even able to hear. But. Alright, Jacob, let's go this way. C, not control. I did list those in the order I think are likely, so I think he's just trying to focus on his game. This is a repetitive game of League. Mr. Ferris, sir. The, uh, the lad in the factory should be taken to be bandaged by the apothecary. Fine. But dock his wages. Yes, sir. Oh, look at this. Does this look familiar to you, by the way? Um, anything about this environment, by chance? Hmm. Oh, look, there's, uh... There's some children over there, and a few adults, some stuff. Do, do you remember the scene from the trailer? Hmm. <laughs> do you remember the assassin that drops down into the environment that looks like this and throw stuff up from the ground at the guard's faces to like blind them and then attacks them guess who that was and a reminder this is also the guy in the bar that smashes the guy's face down on the chair leg and then breaks the chair over the head of the same guy <laughs> man that guy man that poor guy. <laughs> he just gets wrecked by Jacob. <laughs> yeah, that's this guy with the green vest. See? So, hang on a second. I could probably find it. Just for funsies, because you're my only viewer. So why not? Um, man, this... And the recording for a second, though, just so I don't have to worry about YouTube complaining about this. So uh, it'll, it'll stay on Twitch, but won't be on YouTube.